Is your phone on silent? Yes, it is. Are you sure? Positive. I haven't so, turned it on yet. Ooh, let's take the glasses off. So you don't turn it on in the mornings? I don't. So that you can ignore me? No. <laughs> Never. Hi again. My name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today we're going to be doing another haul. But y'all, this is from my St. Louis Benz uh, haul back in December. We're down to how many bags? Five counting these two. Yep, five bags left. I've kind of, when I get bored with stuff that's down in the basement here waiting for me to process, sometimes I just like to go over there and grab a bag and so process it without you guys. So you've been sneaking and not showing the stuff you're buying. <laughs> it's just, you know, I pick this stuff and I just, it's a lot of variety and it's sometimes it's just nice to get back to the smalls and everything that I like picking. But yeah, this basement's a disaster and I really shouldn't have done that. So what you're saying is, is that you're not being open and honest about the stuff you buy and sell. You're sneaking <laughs> no, and hiding. You, you can you can go in my store. It's all there. It's well, now that we've there. heard this, you probably have a secret eBay store somewhere that no. I don't even know about. No, I don't. Where you're stashing all the cash so you could run away. Uh-huh. No. We mentioned in yesterday's video that we did set up... Um, memberships for those of you who want to join, um, get some of the perks. We do have, pl have plans to, um, do a one where we can do chats and everything together, live shows, all of that, but that's still all in the making, but had a message this morning from somebody who has an iPhone and an iPad and they were not seeing the join button. So if you're inclined to Join memberships. Um, make sure you go to a web browser, not on your phone or an iPad. It works on Android fine. Right. The join button is there on Android, but there's some issue with the, the app on iPhones and Apple tablets okay. and such that the join button isn't there. So you have to sign into YouTube through a web browser somewhere and join that way. Yep. Yeah, we had my son who has an iPhone check on his and he said, nope, it's not there. Joining is definitely not necessary. We just had somebody ask, so I had Robert go ahead and set it up. And, you know, just we appreciate any and all support you guys give us. Like and subscribe, though, is yeah. free. Free support. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Share it. Add a comment because that YouTube, YouTube sees that in the algorithm and they like it. All right. So let me show you this. I'll start with the smalls from this bag that's down here. But there was quite a bit of these in the bag. These are VTech Go Smart vehicles. I've actually got at least, oh yeah, at least I try to do these in um, lots of two. They weigh less than a pound, so I can still ship them first class, and they just tend to do really well for me. So I had these two sets, and that's what I'll do with them. But and, by, I, and by first class, she means ground advantage yes, under a pound. Advantage, whatever the new word is. Maybe we should just all just keep referring to it as first class because we have a hospital system in town. We, well, we used to have two hospitals, Laughlin and Tacoma, and they were separate entities, totally separate. And then the big medical ba ballad, I almost called it ballast, but ballad hospital came in, bought, bought up all the stuff out. around here. They joined them together and they changed their names to... Greenville Community East and Greenville Community West, and they shut down the shut West. Shut down one. It, it's still it's still Laughlin. I'm never going to call it Greenville Community East. No. So we should just always refer to this as first, first class. class. And then I did have one of the animals. I think I have another animal over here in my sorting bin. I try to keep like the people together or the animals together and then the vehicles together. So that's what I'll do with these. But usually I list them for like $9.95 and shoot for like $8 on them. And of course we had some little people here. They're turned around. These are like, I call these the heavies. And then I have one of the older ones. This is Maggie. And then I had a Minnie Mouse. So if I have any more of these listed that she's not already in, I may go ahead and pull that listing and add her to it. And then I did find Octonauts. I've got a couple of here, a couple here. These used to do really, really well for me, but the prices have gone down. I'll probably make like a lot of two, and sh unless it's super rare, if it's just a common one, 
Um, and you know, again, $9.95, $12.95, but I did have one of the little seats also, pods, whatever you want to call them. And this was a good find. And you wouldn't, let's see, it says Mattel on the back, I'm pretty sure. But this is Fisher Price. It's part of the more contemporary fun with food, but it was a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, I remember my boys having this when they were little. I, I'm hoping maybe like $10 just for this piece. And then I pick these up anytime I get them. I think they're called wheelies. I think they're called wheelies. I could be wrong. But they're Fisher Price also. I try to make small lots of these. If I've got a lot already listed and it's not in there, I'll go ahead and end it. That's just how I fix I I I do stuff. It's easier for me to find my stuff already in my inventory and listed when I want to add something to it because I have baskets and totes and bags and stuff everywhere over here and it would take a lot for me to try to stay better organized. I'm not that very organized. Um, You've got stuff all over the floor, everywhere. Everywhere. And, and I do try to sort some, but it's just easier if I know, okay, I've got some of those wheelies already listed. I don't think that's what they're called, but um, yeah, it's bothering me that I can't remember what they're called. So I'll just end that listing, take new pictures, up the price a tad, check the weight, and then relist it. What is it? Phillies. Wee Wills. Little Zoomers. <gasps> That's it. Little Zoomers. Now, I had another one of these, and now it's listed. It is by, I think, VTech. Yeah. So what I'll do, like I was just saying, I will end that other one. I knew I had more than one. But I'll just end it, add this one to it, and get it back listed again with two. Look what I even found at the bins. And there's probably more. But some vintage Fisher Price Little People. I think the blue collar dog is a little bit harder to find. You normally, he's red with the collar. So his name is Lucky. Um, and then this is airport luggage. If I have more luggage listed, I'll add this one. But otherwise, I'll just start a small lot, even if it's only worth five bucks. I'll still just list it. This is VTech 2, but it's not the Ghost Smarts. I have never seen this. Look at the bottom. It probably goes to a different playset, but I'll have to do some research on it because it's it's different. See, that's a we had this conversation one time about a pony. Mm. And that one says foal. A filly. Is a female horse under four colts are male horses under four a young horse that has not yet reached its first birthday is called a foal regardless of whether it's male or female there you go yeah i made the mistake of saying pony one time i thought ponies were baby horses i didn't grow up on a farm they're little horses they're just little horses look okay it's also get... a keg a keg yeah a pony keg oh Stop it. All right, now to some of the plush. This is Velveteen Rabbit. I actually think I have another one of these listed. This is kind of one of those days. If it's the same, then I'll just bump the quantity. If the condition is similar, if not, um, you know, I can always start another listing if I need to. But I know I've had one like this recently, probably from the bins. Look, Clifford. I tend to pick up most Clifford and then the other dogs that were in that series. Um, Cole's Cares has a whole series. If you can get several of them together, they tend to do okay. This one is Scholastics. Larger, I'm thinking maybe 15, 12 to 15 for him. No clue, it says Petite Friends by Snap. Not heard of that. I don't think it's a movie. But it kind of looks like a movie character. Probably going to be bread and butter. I think I've seen something else that snap. So I'll go in my inventory and see if I've got something else with that brand. This is Ty. Big old calico cat. Just cute. Probably going to be bread and butter. Look, Pepe Le Pew. 
Looney Tunes, Hallmark. It says with three sayings plus a song. Oh, yeah. Dang it. I think it's an internal battery. I am not confident in my sewing skills. I know some people open these up, take the sound pack out, sound box out, and see if they can replace any batteries. I'm not that confident. We need to, one day when you get one that is rough mm -hmm. and doesn't work, we need to do surgery and see what, see, see see what, what, it see what it's like. looked like inside. What kind of batteries do they have? And maybe it would be easy to sew back up. Maybe. I don't know. I've been practicing a little bit with that ladder stitch, so I'm getting a little bit better at it, but I still use clear thread. If you're new at doing ladder stitch, clear thread is amazing because it it, it hides all your flaws as far as stitch, equal stitching. But this Hopefully I can still list this, you know, maybe $10, um, even with the battery pack not working. I've got a couple of uh, pants that have holes in the pockets. You should be like a, a good wife and practice on the, my pants pockets and sew them up. You could be practicing that ladder stitch yourself. You haven't done any yet. Nothing. I have big clumsy fingers. There's big needles and I'll help you thread it. <laughs> I have, y'all, I have a, a corner between two shelves that's piled probably five feet tall with plush that needs repairs. I used to have a lady who would do the repairs for me and I would um, bring her like a white garbage bag full. She'd take her time on it and then, but she's no longer able to do it. But I keep telling myself, I'm just going to grab a couple and take them upstairs every once in a while and try to fix them instead of reading my book. Give, make myself do it like 15 minutes or something. Look how cute. I love those eyes. It says Little Bub. Oh, from Cuddle Barn. I adore that. I don't know. I, Cuddle Barn, I've had a few pieces. Usually, the, sometimes they're animated. This one's not. Um, I'm hoping maybe $12 to $15 for it. This is Fiesta. It is from the Great Wolf Lodge. Her name's like Rachel. Can't read it. Brindley. Oh, this is the boy. Brindley. Probably going to be like $10 to $15. This is Five Nights at Freddy's. It's um, Foxy something. Fox? Foxy? Can't remember. It's a smaller plush. I'll have to check comps. But probably going to be bread and butter. This is intriguing. It's got some issues. It needs a bath. But it is... The Storks Bundle. Huh, I have never heard of that. I almost thought it was like that organic farm or something. The face is like felt. So I'll just take a, a sweater shaver to it. Um, it should be fine after that. I don't know. I've never had this brand. It could be bread and butter for me. Or it could be something that's definitely worth keeping an eye out for more. I always grab these. Rattle, Dandy, one of my first bunnies. They're going to be bread and butter. If I have a pink one, I might add it with it. Sometimes there is a, um, like a, I call them ring grabbers. You know, they've got the, the round. If I've got one of them, I may add it with that. That way I can bump my price up a little bit. This toy factory. Ooh, it needs a bath. I don't know if it's a character. You know, it kind of makes you think of, like, Sad Sam or anything, but I don't think it is. But it's going to need a bath. I, Toy Factory isn't one of my favorite brands, but they do a lot of cute stuff. And you know me, I pick up a lot of dog plush. So, what is this kind of dog called? Like a beagle, right? It's like a beagle or... Not Some a, kind of hound. Yeah, a hound. Definitely looks like a yeah, St. Bernard. I don't know if it looks like a St. Bernard to me. The eyes, the eyebrow parts look odd, which yeah. makes me not think beagle, but... Maybe. Uh, probably still only going to be like 15 maybe $20. I had a beagle back in the day. Did you? I've had a beagle once before. I named him Elmer, because beagles are rabbit hunting dogs. And... Elmer Fudd. All right, this is Spark Create Imagine. 
Look how cute. I'm thinking maybe $15, $20, but I might be surprised just because of its size. I think beagles, they use beagles to hunt more than rabbits, but that was kind of what people used them for where I grew up. Mm -hmm. I never hunted rabbits with him. I lived in town at the time. Look at this. It's, oh, it's F.A.O. Schwartz. Big O koala bear with its, I'm guessing, is that like eucalyptus? Isn't that what they eat? I think so. But it's got something on there. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that off, but look at this. It's got that fake leather nose, but these claws are like plastic. Very interesting. I don't know. I'm hoping 25 plus for it, if I can get this cleaned up. I'm pretty sure it just kind of looks like like oatmeal or something on there. Picked up a couple of more smalls. I always grab these small auroras. I probably have one listed. Um, they're usually like my eight to ten dollars. I just sold probably from previous bags. I had a small um, lot of these from Li uh, the Lion King, but. This one didn't make it, so it might get listed by itself unless I find something to go with it. I've got a garbage bag. The whole bottom of it is full of Duplos, Lego Duplos. But look in here. I see Minnie and Mickey. Who knows if there's other characters buried in there. So that'll be a good lot to list. What's funny is I just listed a set that includes this. Ooh, and I see people... And doesn't want to work. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've got some figures in here. I don't think this one's to this set with the submarine. That's just funny. I just listed this set from a previous find. Oh, it's from the red, white, and blue tote of stuff that I picked up. But now I've got another set, hopefully, in here. Just a couple more. This is Archie. And it says Russ. But it's one of the, it looks like a from England, right? Very interesting. Probably still only going to be $10 to $15. There's a lovey. What does it say? Stepping stones. I love hugs. Some of these are my bread and butter, and every once in a while I have one that sells for a lot better. This is Payton and Rigel. That almost sounds like I don't know, a law office. I don't know, I'll have to look that up. It even has a 1-800 number. It says artistic toy manufacturing. Just a cute dog. Probably going to be bread and butter. Looks like a Sharpay. Mm-hmm. Here's another toy factory, Pink Panther. Probably going to be like 10 to $12 for it. Child of mine elephant nice and clean i'm trying to be better about anything that has a sound box or wind up that i don't buy it if it needs cleaned that's my my goal for our next trip to the bins is be a little bit more careful about that because i have a huge tote over here that's full of stuff that needs cleaned it's you know it's time it takes time to clean those let them dry probably clean them again I'd rather just deal with the stuff, throw them in the washing machine, let them dry for two days. Be done. Look how cute. And it's a puppet. But it is MTY International. I'm guessing it's a lamb. It looks like a lamb. It's got that Sherpa type fur on it. Probably going to be maybe 10 to $15. And my last thing, and I don't know... But I have a feeling this is a treasure. Things that caught my attention. It's terry cloth. And then the color block. But it's not Eden and I, the tag is completely faded. I might try to like use my phone and make it as big as possible because I, there's faint lettering. But I don't know. But I don't know. I'm hoping $50 to $100 for this even not knowing the brand, just because terry cloth and color block. All right. 
Anything else? No. You give me the evil eye. You don't want me to talk. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, y'all. Now I got lots of work to do and from my bin stuff. So get to work. Get to work. Bye.